Well, hello everybody and welcome back to Lisa's Coloring Corner. First of all, Happy New Year! It is now 2020. Can you believe it? I can't. Um, I apologize. I wanted to get this video out yesterday so that it would be an end of the year video. And it didn't happen. Uh, yeah, too many things came up again. So I was going to record it last night. Well, then spur of the moment, I had my other two grandsons overnight. My uh, oldest daughter, Tanya, decided they were changing plans and then needed somebody to watch the two kids. Um, one of which is diabetic, so that takes a little bit, you know, extra looking after her, you know, and... Uh, Anyhow, so it did not get made last night either. So it had to wait till today, New Year's Day. So how is everybody doing? What'd you do for New Year's Eve? Let's see. We are going to finish coloring this pretty picture out of Blooming Letters by Radu Frazi. I will, again, link this book down below in case you would like to purchase it from Amazon. We are straight coloring with Prisma colored pencils. And all we had left to do on here were the leaves, these couple buds, the vine, and then the letter A. That's right. I was going to be coloring that A with an alcohol marker. I'll have to pause when we get to that point and go and get one of my sets. Um, so let's start off with the leaves. And it seems like all of these leaves are pretty much the same, aren't they? Yeah. I think maybe we'll use a couple of different greens, though, just to kind of change it up a little so i'm going to get out my hex chart again and let's see what shall we go with well we'll go with the the grass green of course <laughs> and then something a little different maybe something a little darker let's see how about Hmm, should we go with that one? No, why don't we go with 911? Okay, so we need 909 and 911. All right, 909, 911. I know they're in here. 909. And. Where's my 911? Hmm, you can tell I never have any of this planned out. Oh my goodness. I don't see it. Somebody stole my 911. Oh my goodness sakes. Is that what it said? Maybe I misread it. Oh, 912. Duh. I know. You guys are probably saying, Shh, it's not 911. Oh, no. 909. Boy, I will get this straight yet. 909. Okay, so 909. Yeah, 911. Oh my goodness, I got them. Oh, yo, yo. That was hard. Hopefully, that's the hardest part of the uh, whole video. <laughs> Let me sharpen these because these have not been sharpened yet. A little more. Again, I will link this uh, pencil sharpener down below. It's by Office Goods. And I really, really like it. And like I said in the previous um, part of this color and chat, I don't have any problems whatsoever with it breaking my Prismacolors or any of my other colored pencils. So I do like it. Let's zoom in a little. And I'm jiggling the camera here, ain't I? Sorry about that. All right. Let's take it from the top <laughs> good place to start right 
Okay, so yeah, how are you all doing in this new year? I just cannot believe it is 2020. Did you guys stay up till midnight? Tell you one thing, my grandkids stayed up a lot longer than I did. I asked my daughter how, you know, when bedtime was, and she goes, eh, it's New Year's Eve, whenever they, uh, pass out so there was no bedtime set for them at all they could stay up all night if they wanted to and I thought oh okay okay kids 10 minutes it's bedtime <laughs> uh, they just look at me like uh, but mom just said that's mom this is grandma no <laughs> you know these kids okay we rang in the new year together Counted it down. We uh, said Happy New Year with our cans of soda. <laughs> Diet soda. And, uh, you know, they stayed out in the living room with me for a while. Bob, of course, was in bed already. And then they went back in the spare bedroom, which is where the Xbox is. And proceeded to play Xbox. And... At about, oh gosh, it was a little after 1.30, I finally thought I, I was diamond painting. And I thought, oh, I better get to bed. So, I go into the Xbox room and I thought, well, you know, Tanya said they can stay up however late they want to. They don't get to do that very often, so it was a treat for them. But, because that bedroom is right across the hall from mine, and it's right next door from Bob's bedroom, you know, I, Connor has a tendency of having a very loud voice. And Logan's not too bad. His, his is quieter, but yeah, Connor's quite loud and rambunctious. And I think I'm going to make that one a darker green. Um, so, yeah, he, uh, he was being kind of loud, so I said, you know, you got to keep it down. I said, I'm going to bed. Okay, Grandma. Well, yeah, I could, uh, still hear him, of course, after I crawled in and settled down and stuff. But it wasn't real bad, so. I drifted off to sleep. Didn't think any more of it thought, yeah, okay, they all have a long night. Oh, little did I know. Logan, I guess, was up till 6, and then he slept in that spare bedroom, because there's a, a bed in the spare bedroom. And then Connor was going to sleep on the couch, so when Logan crawled into bed, he came out in the living room, but instead of going to sleep, that little bugger got out the iPad and proceeded to play on the iPad for another hour till Bob had gotten up to make himself some breakfast at 7. Seeing Connor was still awake and said, you better put that iPad down and get some sleep. <laughs> so that little, that little bugger was up until 7 o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. Unreal. Just unreal what these kids do. But I guess, you know, if I was a kid, you know, and I was told by my parents that I could stay up as late as I wanted, yeah, you can bet your bottom dollar I'd take advantage of that too. So, uh, yeah. But then, yeah, they were clonked out till, well, it was like noon. And Connor was still asleep, and of course, my daughter and her husband had been out late, so usually Tiny keeps a real close eye on Connor's insulin levels. They have a, you know, it's really neat nowadays, rather than having to, and this is kind of a bright green, but oh well, um, rather than having to, um, draw blood all the time, you know, like diabetics typically have to to get their blood sugar readings. 
which is what Connor always had to do. But now he has this system called Dexcom. And I don't know if any of you have or know of some kid that has type 1 diabetes. Or probably works the same for type 2. Um, it's an implant that goes in the back of their upper arm. And it provides continuous blood sugar readouts. And uh, then, of course, there's an accompanying app. So, Tanya, as long as, you know, this thing is connected to his phone, this Dexcom, Tanya always has 24-7 access to what his blood sugar level is. So it's really nice. She always knows where he's at, you know, when he's in school and, you know, things like that. So, yeah, she can keep track of him. Or, like last night, when he uh, stayed overnight here, she could kind of keep an eye on it, even though she was out and about, you know, she's... She's a good mommy, and she knows that, you know, she has a child that, you know, needs a little bit of extra looking after. And so then throughout the night, she always periodically double checks to see what his blood sugar is. Last night, thank heavens, I didn't have to. Well, number one, she didn't have to wake me up. Number two, I didn't have to wake him up to... Uh, eat or drink something because sometimes his blood sugar will really drop at night and uh, so then I'll have to wake him up and have him quick drink a juice or they have like a little what they call their emergency kit <laughs> either a couple little candies or you know gummy bears or something something with you know a certain amount of sugar in and the right amount of carbs and but, yeah, last night he did okay. But then this morning she couldn't get a reading on him. And so I had to go in his phone. Here he was only at 80-something. So then I did have to wake him up anyhow, even though it was mid-morning. <laughs> and uh, I didn't have a can of regular soda, which is a lot of times what he'll have if he needs sugar. So I said, well, I got some Gatorade. And we looked at the carbs on that. And uh, yeah, that worked good. So told me he had to get up and drink half the bottle of Gatorade. <laughs> drank it while he was half asleep and laid back down. <laughs> oh, heavens. But now they are up and, again, playing Xbox. Just made him lunch and oh <laughs> uh, yeah, which is okay. I haven't had these kids overnight in quite a while. Don't get to see them that often anymore. I used to have them overnight quite a bit, and uh, now that they're getting older, if Tanya and her boyfriend do happen to want to go out. Main Street is, I mean, they're only one block off of Main Street. So if they decide to go out, they're only a couple blocks from home. So, um, you know, they typically, I mean, Logan is, what, 12? Connor is 9, I think. So, you know, it's not like it's unheard of to leave them home alone for a few hours, you know. And like I said, Tanya can keep track of how Connor's doing and stuff. So, But when it's overnight, yeah. They were going farther away, so she didn't feel comfortable with, you know, them being home alone. So I said, sure, why not? I know I wouldn't be recording then and stuff, but nah. Tis okay, right? There's always too much. So how many people do you think have hangovers today? <laughs> uh, I imagine there's a lot of uh, Tylenol, Excedrin, <laughs> Ibuprofen being taken today. 
Oh, I remember the day. Yeah, I was one of them. Always had to go out and celebrate New Year's Eve. And you know, around here, I don't know if it's the same everywhere, but around here, the bars stay open all night on New Year's Eve. Not like you can't get enough in by 2, 2.30, you know, a regular bar closing time. No. But it was always a good time. But yeah, it's the recouping of the next day. <laughs> uh, I guess that's why I quit a number of years ago, because the recouping the next day was just taking longer and longer and was more and more miserable. And it's like, why do you do this to yourself? <laughs> I was like, yeah, that's enough of that. <laughs> uh, we'll yet we'll let the younger crowd take over that uh, part of the part of the part of life. <laughs> oh yeah. And then during the week, when what night was that? Monday Monday night into Tuesday. Yeah, Monday night I was going to record. And then we got a snowstorm. Well, not a huge snowstorm, but we did get like six, seven inches of snow. So then Heather and the kids stayed over. So then I didn't record that night either. It's just, you know, it's just been one thing after the other. So it's like, okay, I guess this is going to wait till today. <laughs> So again, I am sorry I didn't get this out before New Year's. This was going to be in my What I Colored in December stash, but that's okay. We'll just add it to January's. I should have made one of these dark up here, but oh well. Looks kind of funny with these two. But I didn't want to make them quite all the same, so. It'll be okay. This is such a pretty book. I like it. And I do have a flip through of it. I can't remember, did I link that in my part one of this? Um, I'll link the flip through again. I think I did last time. But yeah, so if you want to see the whole book, you can see it before you decide if you want to buy it. I think for my next color and chat, because yes, I'm thinking ahead. <laughs> I think we'll do one in markers, seeing as how my last two have been pencil. Shock, shock, right? My last two color and chats have been with pencil. Getting some use out of them. And then I think I mentioned last time my next pencil that I'll use for a color and chat are going to be the polychromos. So we'll see how those do. Not sure what book yet, but I never want to pick a picture that's too detailed when I color on camera with um, colored pencils for coloring chats because, yeah, otherwise it would take five parts to get done. <laughs> As we all know, colored pencil takes quite a bit longer than uh, marker or even gel pen. So we'll have to see what kind of, I mean, I don't want it too simplistic either. Something like this is perfect where you have a travel size book. And uh, it's just the right amount of detail where it makes it interesting and pretty, but yet not too detailed where, yeah, it takes forever to 
be able to color now these leaves and flowers and stuff would look just beautiful blunted together with you know multiple colors and I may do that with one of these pictures in here I could just see all the greens you know blended out in these leaves and these flowers so I may have to do one of those on my own or maybe sometime on camera we'll have to see I mean, it's not like uh, there's a race. We have all year to get something done, right? This year and hopefully next year. <laughs> Who knows what the future brings, right? You never know what's going to happen. Even with YouTube, especially with the scares we were getting, you know, the latter part of last year. With more and more info coming out now, I really don't think that we as color tubers have anything to worry about, though. Because there was another statement that came out now direct from, and I don't know if she's the director of something or another or whatever. Don't know, but, you know, what her title is exactly, but... She's the one that periodically will put out a YouTube video about, you know, what's going on and answering some questions. And she stated flat out that there have been so many questions about whether your channel is intended for children or not. You know, whether you have to indicate that. And she says it boils down to what your intended audience is that is the key word what your intended audience is and so for us of course our intended audience is adults it is not children so I think even if we were to show coloring in our Disney color by number books um, as we know, many of those are not children's coloring books. There Are there Disney coloring books? Oh, for kids, definitely. I mean, there's many, many of them. But there's also quite a few of them that are for adults. So, like I said, I don't think personally, anyhow, and I may be wrong, but I don't think we would have a problem even doing a... Disney coloring book. I really don't. Because again, it is geared towards adults. And if they look at your demographics, they can see, you know, your uh, subscribers, what the age range is and, you know, percentages of what age group. I don't have anybody under, I forgot what the age groups were, but the vast majority of my subscribers are all middle-aged and up. Not saying I don't have some younger, because I do. Um, but the vast majority of them, I don't, you know, I don't have anybody under, I don't know. I shouldn't say I don't have any under, because you don't, you don't see in your analytics exactly the ages. They just have groups. But... Yeah, I mean, like I said, you can see that our channels are not geared towards kids. So, I'm trying to look at what this is. You see what I'm pointing at? Oh, no, you can't because it's way up here. What is that? Hmm. I am not sure because this is going underneath. Is that part of the? No, this petal's going underneath. Is that like a petal? I don't know. I guess that's what I'm going to make it. Sure. Now I put all those colored pencils away. What was I coloring with? Lilac. I believe it was. I'm just going to make it a petal then. Or is it nothing? Oh, maybe it's nothing because, yeah, okay. I get it now. Don't have to hit me over the head. 
Well, maybe you do. <laughs> okay, let's do the vine. And that I want to do in a really deep, deep green. So let's go with 908. And that is dark green. How appropriate. Now this I'm going to have to keep nice, nice and sharp because of this being so narrow. Oh, and the bell is a barking. Oh, I wonder if my daughter's here for the kids. I'll pause. I'll be right back. Alrighty, I'm back. It wasn't my daughter. <laughs> it was, and this is one of the reasons why I love living up here. <laughs> it was a dad who brought his son up here to go sledding. Because I live on the top of a big hill. And for those of you who are newer to my channel, I live right across, well, kind of kitty corner from the Catholic school. And so right across from my house is this big open grassy area. Well, grassy during the summer. And uh, yeah, with a big incline going from the street level down to the grassy area. So it's the perfect sledding area in wintertime. And there are a lot of parents who bring their kids up here during the winter to take them sledding. And it's so cute. Love watching them. My dad, a lot of times, when was that last weekend? A mom had her, was it two or three kids? And she was going down on the sled with them. And they were just all having a good time. So that's a lot of fun to watch. And during the summer, then you'll see them. They'll be out throwing frisbee or sometimes even flying kites. And there's, on each side is a baseball diamond. So then they'll be, you know, playing baseball or just, you know, practicing hitting ball. Some of those kids are pretty good. <laughs> Sometimes even the league um, guys will come and they'll do warm-ups down here. Which, of course, all of it drives Bella absolutely bonkers. Especially when the guys warm up down here because there's umpteen cars around then. And quite a few guys and yeah. Drives her crazy. It's not a good place to have a dog who doesn't like people around. <laughs> uh, not to mention it's Dog Walk Central up here where I live. It's very very busy with people and their dogs must be the perfect uh walking path to walk your pets or something <laughs> there oh i like that dark green okay let's see we have the buds to do and let's see this would probably be green also wouldn't it and then the flower itself. Let's make this this dark green also. And then we'll decide on the bud color. Just some more simple straight coloring. But I have been hearing from a lot of you that really like watching the straight coloring and I know I always do. <laughs> I'm not a fancy colorist. If I wanted to take my time, could I do it? Yeah, somewhat. I mean, I'm I'm no master with pencils. That's that's for darn sure. But uh I can, you know, do the blending and stuff. I just I don't know. I have a real hard time with patience. <laughs> <laughs> and when I see some of these pictures where people work on them for weeks, um, it just it boggles my mind. Of course, when people work on these detailed pictures with all this blending and, and whatnot, they don't work on them steady. 
you know, and, and that's why I was debating. I have never had whips, never. It would drive me crazy to have like a dozen whips out there. Um, but I'm, I'm debating whether I, if I want to start doing some of those types of colorings where I do do some blending and I try to do some of the more detailed pictures, if maybe I should maybe have a couple going at the same time because I know if I would work on one like that, I wouldn't be able to stay on it straight for like a week. I'd have to go to something else. <laughs> uh, so I may be revisiting that. Uh, let's go with this uh, darker purple in here for one, I think, and then this pink for the other. Now again, I put my pencils away and I figured I was done with those colors, so I did not even insert them backwards like how I said I do sometimes. Let's figure out, okay, this one I think was 932 for this here dark and then process red. So, yeah, I think that's what I used. Violet and process red, 932. And I keep pulling the mic cord, so I'm jiggling you guys all over the place. Sorry. Um, what did I say for 932? Violet and then process red. Here we go. Okay. As I reach over over to my right for my colored pencils, I am accidentally pulling on my mic cord that comes from my left off my phone. <laughs> and so yeah, I, it it jiggles my camera. Am I making you guys dizzy? Hopefully you're not watching much and you're just doing your own thing. Maybe I should do half and half, do half pink and half purple because there's pink and purple in there. Let me see. I'll see what I think it's going to look like. Pink and and let's go for it. Let's put both colors in both buds. All it can do is look a little strange, but it's my coloring page. As Dee Dee Willingham always says, you are the boss of your coloring page, right? Your coloring book which is so, so true. I love that saying. <laughs> and I think there are many of us who, who kind of take that quote from her. You are the boss of your coloring book because nobody can tell you how you can color it. I've, I've heard a number of times on YouTube and I've seen it in Facebook groups where people will get told, you know, maybe not flat out, but referring to the way, you know, that's not how that should be colored or you should be doing it this way or there is no right or wrong way. So no, you shouldn't be having to color it this way or that way. Yeah, I think I like it with the two tones in there. Alrighty, now all we have left, I'm going to leave those pencils out there. All we have left is the letter A. And while I was paused to go see what the heck Bella was barking at, I grabbed my, I just, let's zoom you back out here. I grabbed my IO IO markers that I still don't have a color chart created for. Can you believe it? But I just, I love, love, love this case. These are awesome markers. If anybody's looking for a set, I have a video out there swatching these out with a link. And yeah, this case is so neat because there's a grid down in the bottom. There's a white plastic grid so that it holds them all in place, which is so much better than those black cloth, you know, uh, cases that we get with most of our uh, budget-friendly markers. This one is like a foul leather um, instead of that cloth. But anyhow, um, 
I don't, I really don't know what color <laughs> I want to go. First of all, before I forget, let's, let's put a sheet protector behind and there went something off my desk. <laughs> I'll have to go see what that was. Um, yeah, what color do we want to go with? Pull a color in from somewhere. So we got purples, pinks, yellow, orange, reds. We have enough green, so I don't want to do green. And we have some blues. Now, okay, we have quite a bit of the, you know, don't want to go with the red. There's quite a bit of red, quite a bit of purple. We could go with, you know, like a lighter pink or blue. Or we could go with a pretty yellow and just kind of bring out the yellows from the center of the flowers. Hmm. Let's see. What kind of blues do I have? See, now this is the problem where I don't have a swatch sheet out. Let's see. What color? Hmm, that's almost too exact with that flower. I want to be a little bit off of that. And I don't want to go too dark either. That's kind of too dark. Oh, Bella wants to bark so bad. Yeah, that's just as... Hmm, hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, this one's called pastel blue. How pastel is it? It's more aqua-ish. Well, maybe we should just go for a yellow. Would that be too bright? It's either that one or pale. Should we go with a pale yellow or the bright? I think I like the bright better. Because if we go darker than that, Hmm. It's kind of a yellow orange. No, I don't think I want that. Let's uh let's go with the bright yellow. We'll make it nice and cheery because we've had this all nice and bright. Okay, let's zoom you back in a little bit. Not that there's gonna be a whole lot to watch anymore, but and then we'll have this done. And before I end this video, I will be having an announcement. Matter of fact, I think as soon as I get down to the vine part here, so I don't get a line where I end off in the marker dries, I am going to let you guys in on a little secret. Okay, as a way of saying thank you, and especially for those of you who do watch my color and chats all the way through, I appreciate it so much. So many of you stick with me, you love my color and chats, and I appreciate that so much. You guys are watching the ads for me, which puts a little bit of money in my pocket um, to go back into this channel so that I can bring you, you know, new content. So I wanted to say thank you back to you guys. So I'm going to have a giveaway. I picked up this. This is a 45 piece Bic Intensity coloring gift pack. It has, for markers, it has six metallic. It has 12 fine line markers. No, not fine liners. <laughs> 12 fine markers, which are back here. And then the 12 ultra fine markers. And then, I didn't even know, I hadn't heard of these. There are 15 Conte coloring pencils. And that's over here. I don't know if you can see them. So there's 15 pencils and then 12 ultra fine, 12 fine, 6 metallic. So this is all Bic. Um, the metallics are up here. 
So I wanted to do a giveaway again as a thank you to all of you. Um, and this is another reason I wanted to get this video out yesterday by the end of the year because this is my thank you for 2019 for all of you guys sticking with me throughout my first year. I am now up to over 3,600 subscribers, which still just blows my mind. <laughs> Uh, you guys have just been so awesome. So yeah, I wanted to give a little bit of something back to you guys. Um, I am sorry, international subscribers. I do, do, do appreciate you guys too. But seeing as how I am sending this from my home, I have to limit this giveaway to only the United States people. I am so sorry. Um, today is Wednesday the 1st. I'm, I normally have my giveaways for a week. Um, but because I want to draw the winner this weekend, I'm going to give you until Saturday night at midnight, Central Standard Time. So I think that is what, first, second, third, fourth? First, second, third, yes, fourth. Saturday the fourth, midnight, Central Standard Time to enter this comp competition. It's not a competition. To enter this giveaway and then I'll draw a winner on Sunday and uh, make that video and get that video out to you guys on Sunday announcing the winner. If uh, you are new to my channel, I will explain how my giveaways work because they're a little bit different than most of the other coloring channels. I have um, a site where I draw my winners from and I need to enter or how I work it is I enter a keyword. For all the comments on this video that contain that keyword, you will be entered into that drawing, okay? So I always come up with a keyword for every single one of my giveaways. The keyword for this particular giveaway is thanks, T-H-A-N-K-S, okay? Because it's thanks to all of you that I am where I am at. I am able to do what I can on my channel, show you all of these new products and, uh, you know, do these giveaways, you know, help, help host the giveaways, help pay for the postage, um, all of that. So by watching the ads, by purchasing through my Amazon affiliate links, I'm able to do a little something back for you guys. So again, the keyword is thanks. Enter that down in your comments below if you want to enter the giveaway. To enter, you must be 18 years or older. You must be a subscriber of mine. And that's why I kind of made this a hidden giveaway. I did not announce it in the title, the thumbnail, nowhere, because I wanted this particular giveaway to be for all of you dedicated subscribers who watch my color and chats, you know, from the beginning to the end and that's why I'm hiding it in this color and chat. <laughs> I want one of you guys to win it, not one of those people who are out there just searching on YouTube for giveaway and then they subscribe and if they didn't win then they unsubscribe. That, that ticks me off, people that do that. So um, yeah, so like this video, be a subscriber, be 18 years or older, be from the United States <laughs> and uh, include that word thanks. And again, I will draw a winner on, on this Sunday, on the 5th. Okay, any questions, you can leave a comment down below on that also. I think I covered it all. Hmm, I should write everything down that I got to mention for giveaways. So I hope whoever gets this likes this little gift pack. So let's continue on. I just wanted to make sure that I got that in there before I forgot. I was going to do it before I started this letter and then I just started coloring. It's like, oh, I better do that. Otherwise I get to the end of this picture and I'll forget. <laughs> and then I'll be sitting here and I'm like, ah. <laughs> so yeah, that is another reason I really wanted to get this video out yesterday because it is thanks for an awesome 2019 and here's hoping to another good year it's been a really fun year I can't believe how my channel has grown how 
different I am now in, well, I can't say in front of the camera because I'm not in front of the camera. <laughs> I hide behind the camera. If I was in front of the camera, yeah, I'd still be nervous because I don't like being in front of the camera. But back here behind the camera, it's not so bad. But I still, when I first started out, I was so nervous. Oh my gosh. It was, it was, you know, it's, it's hard starting out. It's very nerve wracking. It's, you don't know how people are going to take you. You don't know what you can maybe say and not say without people thinking you're stupid. <laughs> And I've always had that problem. I always care too much about, about, you know, what people think of me. And, you know, oh, is that going to sound dumb? And I, I still worry about stuff like that. Oh, geez, can I, you know, should I say that? Or is that going to sound really stupid? <laughs> so sometimes I'll get a little tongue-tied if if it's like oh, okay I know I was gonna say that but should I say that <laughs> and then especially as you're coloring you know sometimes it gets really oh, I didn't zoom me back in today sometimes it gets really hard to color and think at the same time you know it uh, so when somebody can do it well <laughs> like uh, Anne from A Colorful Life who even she admits has the gift to gab <laughs> uh it yeah it can be uh sometimes a challenge to keep talking while you color especially if you're really concentrating then many of us get kind of quiet because it's like okay give me till i'm past this point and then i'll talk again <laughs> But, you know, we, we got to talk because it wouldn't be a color and chat without the chat, right? <gasps> My goodness, we have it done. Let's zoom back out. Okay, I think I do kind of like that yellow so that it brings out these pops of yellow from behind. Yeah. Kind of would have liked to have maybe had a blue that was kind of the shade between these two. But I didn't really see that, so decided to go with the A. I think that looks okay. What do you guys think? All right, let me put this marker back. And I did have a couple of people ask me for the IO IO color chart. Um, I am hopefully going to work on that this weekend. I have a few color charts to work on now. <laughs> Um, and yeah, I hope to get at those. I will announce in my next color and chat what uh, other color charts I got completed so that if anybody wants any of them. If you are new to my channel, I have a gazillion color charts that are yeah, kind of similar. This is a pencil one. This is my Prismacolor one um, that I offer to anybody that wants them. I have a lot of marker ones, a lot of colored pencil ones. Like I stated in my last color and chat, I want to redo these though. I don't want the, I don't like the light, the medium, and the dark pressures because I don't, you know, I only look mainly at this column anyhow. So, you know, why have it this way? I don't know. So, yeah, in my spare time, I'll get at that too. <laughs> oh, plus, gal that I sent this to very nicely pointed out to me, I think I was. I either had, I had a mistake in here somewhere. I'm going to have to look back at her um, email message that she sent to me and look at what that mistake was. Um, and so I'm not going to recolor mine in, but I'll at least, at least have it corrected so that if I send this uh, chart to anybody, <laughs> it'll have, a, it have the uh, error corrected. So I'm going to have to look at that. So I apologize to anybody that I sent this chart to already because it was quite a few people. There is an error on it. So again, I don't remember what it was, but I will find it and I will fix it. So that is it for today. I thank you for watching this part two of this color and chat, straight coloring with the Prismacolor pencils. Again, this was from Blooming Letters by Radu Frazi. Really pretty, pretty book. As the name implies, it goes through the whole entire alphabet. 
with all kinds of pretty flowers and leaves. So yeah, go and go and check out the video that I have doing a flip through and I hit my cord again. Boy, I'm going to have to figure out something different here. Um, check out the book and go ahead and go over to Amazon and purchase it. Um, again, there will be a link down below. So I hope everybody's having a fantastic New Year's Day. I definitely will be getting this video up today. I uh, should never say definitely. Who knows what's going to happen? <laughs> At just at the time I say that, then something's going to happen and I'm not going to be able to do it. Um, but yes, I definitely intend on getting this up today yet. So um, give you at least a few days to enter the giveaway um, before I do the drawing on Sunday. So thank you so much again to every single one of my subscribers. To those of you who comment, to those of you who don't, um, my silent subscribers, um, but who still faithfully watch my videos, um, all of you who give me the thumbs up, you know, um, and share the videos and, and whatnot. So I appreciate each and every single one of you. Here was to a very successful 2019 and here's to a very successful 2020. Yes, I am drinking champagne. <laughs> All right, you guys have a fantastic New Year's Day, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you guys. Bye.